Welcome back to AM Buffalo. It is Mental Health Monday, and today we are introducing you to Mobile Counseling of New York. Yes, this team of therapists are changing the way anyone can seek and get mental health. Take a listen. Pablo, Mobile Counseling of New York. Give us a little history of that. Who are you guys? Yeah, so we established back in 2019. Um, we're a group of mobile practitioners who specialize in in-home therapy for Western New York. Mm -hmm. uh, we service throughout the state. Um, we provide telehealth services for all of New York, um, but we focus primarily on working with the community in Buffalo. Um, so back in 2019, we identified a need. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw this big access to care gap uh, where people weren't able to necessarily get to where they were going. Uh, they weren't able, they struggled with getting to appointments, they struggled being consistent with appointments. So mobile counseling, we really wanted to try to address that where, where the heart was. Yeah, so overall, what does that mean for the city of Buffalo? I mean, we, we need this. I think this is a great service to us. What does that mean for the area? Yeah, we're, we're from the community and for the community, right? So we yeah. want to make sure that we establish ourselves not only within um, Western New York and the actual clients, but we also want to make sure we build partnerships. So, you know, we work with um, uh, Say Yes organization and Buffalo Public Schools to be able to work within the schools um, as a private practice. Mm -hmm. And taking away the barrier of transportation and going into the homes, it allows you to see the dynamics of the home in real time, right? We get a very honest view of what's going on in the home. Yeah. But not only that, we're also able to address the entire multi-systems um, form of therapy. We're able to work with the family members of the clients. We're able to work with the entire family system. Yeah, talk about families getting the help they need, the entire family. The entire family. Getting the help they need. Thank you for what you do, and also, you also serve our country. Thank you for, oh, thank thank you. You for your thank service. Thank you, Mercedes, I appreciate you. So Matt, you also have served our country. Thank you for your service. Thank you, thank you. Um, so let's talk barriers um, and what that means, because you guys are in the business of breaking down barriers, right? Right, uh, so there's a huge stigma and uh, challenges associated with getting help uh, with mental health needs and one of the ways we help with that is being able to go directly to our clients so you know be able to go into their homes um, you know be able to reach people in their own environment where they feel comfortable and um, and you know really getting them either in home in person or through telehealth the good thing about what we offer is we're really immediate in terms of responding so let's say a client's going through something um, a crisis you know we can we can either text them, call them, really um, go to them instead of having them go to an emergency room or you know intensive care. So let's talk referrals. Those are very important. Speak to that. Yeah. So you can reach us many different ways. Um, they can go on our website. Mm -hmm. They can request what type of clinician they would like, um, what they're dealing with, what the preferences are, um, and then we can uh, match them within the same day and get them uh, linked up with somebody. So you guys really are personalized to each family and all of their needs. Yes, absolutely, we do our best. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, Melissa, since you actually go in the homes, you go to the client, I would love to hear about some of your experiences. Um, I think going in the home, you know, gives us a huge benefit because we get to see the whole family. Um, you know, I've, I've seen people where, you know, it's kids having trouble in the home behaviorally. Um, I recently, well, actually for the past two years, I've worked with a, a young woman. Um, she was a frequent runaway, um, high school dropout, and we've gotten her back into GED program. Well, I'm sure because you go to the client, it gives them some level or a huge level of consistency, correct? Correct, yes. Uh, the majority of my patients I have been with um, since I've started with the agency. So this is a great point. I need you to speak to how easy it is for someone to get started with you all. We can use typically the benefits that you already have and a lot of times there's little to no cost um, to, the, to the patient. And are there any stories that you would like to point out? Maybe maybe a couple of families that stand out to you. Um, there's a few families that stand out. Um, you know, currently right now I'm working with a family that's homeless and is trying to get um, housing and the stress around that and the past traumas that they have and the grief that they're also going through. And tell everyone where they can reach you. We can be reached at 716-302-4545. And there's all the information on your screen if you'd like to reach out. I think it's amazing that they actually go to the client. Yes. It breaks down any barriers that you have. That's exactly right. Yeah. 